everybody, my name is Tanisha and this is my very first YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my gastric sleeve surgery which I'm going to be having next week at St. Bernardine's on June the 3rd. I would like to show you some of my necessaries and some of my personal needs that I'm going to be bringing, not everything but probably most of them that I'm going to be bringing to the hospital. Now, let's show you some of my vitamins. Most of them are in liquid form, like the B1s here. This is, I'm sorry, the B12, and it's a sublingual liquid. You have to have this when you're having the surgery after this, post-op. It's good if you're having uh, really bad problems. A B1, they don't have a liquid form, but you can try and find it. This is a tablet form. B1s, it's good for your energy metabolism. Now there are a couple of multivitamins that I have here. Uh, the one on the right, made by Nature Made, is a multivitamin and it has iron. It's good for people who have anemia or low blood count. And the ones that are recommended by the doctor, Centrum is what I have, um, 100 tablets and it's orange flavored. These are very good also for iron and multivitamins. Now, you also need vitamin D's um, because it's really good for bone health. I recommend probably a thousand at least. Oh, by the way, the calcium has to be, oh, I'm sorry, the multivitamin has to be at least, has a little bit of calcium, but it has to be calcium citrate. Anything other than that is not good for you. But, okay, um, and there's... Another thing that I have from my prescribed from my doctor is part of my my sleeve surgery and it's to take in the mouth all over the mouth and I got one of these uh, things here after the surgery they're gonna my mouth's gonna feel a little dry so I got a couple of chapstick I got this at the 99 cent store you can find them for at least 99 cents or two dollars if they have a pack of two. Um, now bring deodorant. I'm bringing deodorant. You can never have too much deodorant. Red guards fine. And also some toothpaste right here. Crest is not recommended, but I have Crest because it's the best tooth that I have. And a toothbrush, of course. This is. E credit. The, the, the hospital is going to provide some water, but I plan to bring water anyway. I have smart water. It's probably better if I bring smart water because you're probably going to be drinking a lot of fluids and you need fluids just for, well, you need fluids at least every day. And the sleep mask because you're gonna need some, you're gonna get lots of sleep after the surgery. Some other things that require lots and lots of sleep, which is, which is why I have a condition. I have obstructed sleep apnea, so what we have here is a CPAC to help me sleep throughout the night with a tube, which is right here. It's a tube to help me go over my nose it, it helps me sleep so probably after the surgery that my sleep apnea will be resolved and hopefully it'll go away and we got some like sugar free drinks to drink uh, before during or after surgery and there's some other items that I have here that I'd like to show you so let's go over here yeah, so I thought I would show you more of my my necessaries to bring for the hospital. Here we have um, some some panties and some bras. You can never have too many. And my pajamas, which my mom bought these for a sleep uh, study just last year. A couple of clothes that I'm going to probably bring. I'll probably wear a pair. Plan to wear... Um, loose fitting clothes because you might lose weight 
during the operation or after surgery. So I recommend wearing loose fitting clothes. Um, here we have my folders that I took for the Kaiser's uh, options program right around here. This is a post-op dietary plan. And it tells you all about the the tips on what to do uh, after surgery. And here my green photo is from the uh, options program that I was in last year. It only took me about four months in July to uh, since in July. I finished in October, so it took me a while to get the date, but that's okay. Um, here we have my phone, my cell phone, and plus my charger. To charge my phone, I brought me a. I'm gonna bring me a video game, a Nintendo DS Lite, and my charger. Plus a few of my Nintendo DS uh, uh, games. Cause I am a video video game nerd. I love video games. Uh, we have more chargers here. Um, this is for my camera. We have a speaker that I probably might bring the music bullet because I probably can't be it won't be able to use my headphones which I am going to bring to the hospital more chargers this is for my iPad and this is to my mp3 player which I am going to bring now oh I brought slippers I got some more slippers for my feet because my feet really get sore when walking and they are going to force me to walk after surgery is done. So when I wake up, they're going to probably make me walk. So I have to be prepared to when I walk that I have these little booties on because you'll never know. You might be thankful later. And my iPad. This is my very first iPad, as you can see. Yes, I am a Del Rio fan, just to make, make sure of it. And my computer, I'll probably bring my computer. Oh, oh, and probably this is my CPAC pa bag that I'm going to put my CPAC machine in. And the bag that I'm going to bring in to put all my stuff in. Oh, shoot, there's one more thing. I'll be right back. Protein, protein, protein. You are going to need protein when you do your uh, gastric sleeve or gastric bypass surgeries. Because without protein, you probably won't function right. I chose IsoPure because of the zero carbs and it has enough protein for me to last for, for the, the day. If you, I know you can't see it, but it says 50 grams of protein. That's enough to make two servings. And the, I have cookies and cream, but there's other flavors that are available. So whatever, whatever's which white for you. I don't like protein shakes, but I have to do it because I want to be healthy and I want to be fit again. And that's about it about what to bring for my... To, to, to the hospital I know I'm stuttering a lot because I do have a disorder I have autism and, and it's causing me to stutter a lot so I really apologize that it find, finds it very really really annoying but I'm doing my best like I said again it's my very first first YouTube video that I'm ever recording and posting I know I know it's very hard, but I know what people are going through. I know, and I hope you guys understand this, that I've been really big all my life, and I want to change my life. This is the reason why I'm doing the surgery, and I hope that people understand that I won't be the same anymore, but I know I still have it in me. I'll make a I'll make another recording uh, probably tomorrow or probably the day of the surgery to let you know where I'm at and how I'm doing. I'll probably make a, a video blog of this. 
journey. And I hope you guys can share it with me. And I want to share this to to let you know, to let everyone know that I'm not alone. There's many people who have done gastric sleeve surgeries, gastric gastric bypass surgeries, and any other surgeries. I would like some feedback. So I would like like give me some give me a boost of confidence and give me give me the strength. I'm very scared. To tell you the truth, I'm really nervous about the surgery because I don't know what's gonna happen after the surgery. So I would like feedback and some a little I would like lots and lots of support. So please I hope you support me and I hope you and I hope that whoever and I hope that future people who are doing surgery like this will probably take some advice that what I'm doing. And until then, I'll see you very soon or hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye.